After my son was born, I had a snip cut in his tongue. Blood scissored down his chin. At every school, I'd been unsnibbing myself and starving him. He knocked me, so my nose coughed blood, punched a finger through my cornea. Blood blubbed on my nipple where his gums met. On the radio, somebody was saying something about Syria. My son jerked knots of hair from my head. Tears dashed on his fontanelle. He fixed my hips so my clothes didn't fit. I blundered him once against the door jam, blood. <coughs> I bit his father when we were younger, drinking harder, made blood come then. Twice I tried to leave him screaming, 20 minutes at a time, but couldn't keep shtum. One breakfast, I broke the mug that insisted, don't mess with Texas, smashed it. And all the time, I smiled so much, my teeth dried. He made everything heavy. Like they say the bomb did for a while. So that Americans swam through their homes, eyes peeled picking up everyday things and dropping them, as though they were violated by light and pain, as though blood hadn't always been there, waiting. 